April is full of pet-related holidays, including National Pet Day on the 11th. And whether your companion is covered in fur, feathers, or scales, Needham is a great place for them to reside. Catherine Brody adventured around town to meet some of the animals to share their stories. Let's take a look. Owning a pet can be one of the great joys in life. It can help to increase exercise, lower stress levels, and helps to manage loneliness. In honor of National Pet Day this month, we decided to share some stories about local Needham pets. Let's take a look. First up is the Beard family, whose pet Snake is quite the traveler. Snakey was a pet at the Needham Children's Museum, which was over on Hillside Ave. Came here to our home in Needham, moved to Meadville, Pennsylvania, came back to Needham, was in Framingham and West Roxbury, and then moved to Ames, Iowa, and went up to Holton, Maine, and then came back to Needham, and is now up in Lowell. While some may squirm at the thought of owning a reptile, the Beards have enjoyed their time with Snakey due to its calm, friendly demeanor. It is a very comfortable pet to have around. Very relaxed disposition, very yeah. gentle demeanor, very easygoing, uh, friendly pet. I usually have her sort of on my, <laughs> around my neck as I'm watching TV or something like that. So she's been a pretty consistent and constant companion for her family for, again, over 20 years. <laughs> We've had lots of animals come and go uh, <clears throat> right. over the years, many, many. Right. We've lost track and lost count of how many. Uh, <laughs> but the snake's been with us, again, over two decades, so it's always been a consistent, it, yeah, it has. steady yeah. companion yeah. for us. At nearly 23 years old, Snakey doesn't seem to be slowing down. They may even travel some more in the coming years, but will remain a Needham snake at heart. Next up, we head over to the Gia's home to meet their golden doodle, Brittany. So Brittany's a very active dog. Oh, she likes typical dog things, chew on sticks. Um, she's very friendly with children, with people. Um, she hasn't met anyone she doesn't like, and she also loves other dogs. Brittany has lived an adventurous life with the Gias, visiting many notable landmarks, either on foot or in the sidecar of their motorcycle. So we kind of call her the, uh, the sidecar riding dog. She, you know, loves to stick her head out, kind of feel all the breeze on her face. She's participated in a lot of charity motorcycle rides. It's a chance for her to dress up in a fancy outfit um, and go for a large motorcycle ride. Owning Brittany was not only Wayne's opportunity to have his first dog, but also a stepping stone towards building their family. We had Brittany before we had our um, three-year-old daughter. It kind of gave us a quick glimpse on what it'd be like to have a child. I think Needham is a great place for pets. You know, it's a great way to actually meet our neighbors and talk to people that you normally wouldn't talk to. So it's definitely been a blessing to be able to live in Needham and kind of be able to meet all our neighbors. Finally, our last stop is at the Needham Public Library, where they recently hatched chicks that will remain there for another week. Visitors are now allowed to carefully hold the birds and are encouraged to learn more about chickens. To see them for yourself, visit the children's section of the library during operating hours. For the Needham Channel, this is Catherine Brody.